discover the force of the sky's omen, once recognized it can be put to use. Now, as God the Maker plays he taught the game to nature whom he created and his image, taught her the self same game which he played to her. Eyesight should learn from reason. Planets move in ellipses with the sun at one focus. Without proper experiments I conclude nothing. Astronomy would not provide me with credit men did not entertain hopes of reading the future in the heavens. God gives every animal the means of saving its life why object if he gives astrology to the astronomer? In theology we must consider the predominance of authority, in philosophy the predominance of reason. It may be well to wait a century for a reader, as God has waited 6,000 years for an observer. Truth is the daughter of time, and I feel no shame in being her midwife. The roads by which men arrive at their insights into celestial matters seem to me almost as worthy of wonder as those matters in themselves. Do we ask what profit the little bird hopes for in singing? I believe only and alone in the service of Jesus Christ. In him is all refuge and solace. Why are things as they are and not otherwise? God is the kind creator who brought forth nature out of nothing. I had the intention of becoming a theologian, but now I see how God is, by my endeavors, also glorified in astronomy, for the heavens declare the glory of God. Once miracles are admitted, every scientific explanation is out of the question. Geometry is the archetype of the beauty of the world. I measured the skies. Now the shadows I measure, sky bound was the mind, earth bound the body rests. Since we astronomers are priests of the highest God in regard to the book of nature, it befits us to be thoughtful, not of the glory of our minds, but rather, above all else, of the glory of God. I much prefer the sharpest criticism of a single intelligent man to the thoughtless approval of the masses. Just as the eye was made to see colors, and the ear to hear sounds, so the human mind was made to understand, not whatever you please, but quantity. I am a Lutheran astrologer, I throw away the nonsense and keep the hard kernel. My greatest desire is that I may perceive the God whom I find everywhere in the external world, in like manner also within and inside myself. O telescope, the instrument of knowledge, more precious than any scepter. Where there is matter, there is geometry. Science is the process of thinking God's thoughts after him. Geometry is one and eternal shining in the mind of God. I believe the geometric proportion served the Creator as an idea when he introduced the continuous generation of similar objects from similar objects, 